contender, actually somebody who thinks that he beat Phil in 2015 and 2016. And by the way, breaking down Phil's body parts, I mean, his poses, he also said, and that was not the first time he said that, he mentioned that in the press conference years ago. Do you remember what year it was? Mark, number one, thanks for coming out to share your support. Again, at the 2018 Mr. Olympia. Um, yes, I remember it was uh, 2015 right here. Okay, breaking down Phil's poses. It's not something, it's not a secret because it was obviously online. I watched the last interview that you gave and this is what a different Sean Roden. This is Sean Roden that I'm not used to, probably nobody used to. It's the Sean Roden that basically said, this time I don't care. I don't want to say it the way he said it, but you guys know what I mean. This time I don't, I'd rather not give a doo-doo, to be honest. But Sean Roden broke down each pose for Phil Heath. Are you gonna beat him in every pose that you mentioned? Because you started with the front double biceps all the way to the back double biceps. I've studied each and every opponent that's on the stage here. Phil is the seven time Mr. Olympia for a reason. And I've trained my ass off this year with the attitude of I have nothing to lose. And Phil is the current Mr. Olympia 2017. If I didn't do my homework, I shouldn't be up here. If there's one person on the stage that didn't train to be number one in 2018, they should not be on this stage. If you're training to be number two, you should stay home. So yes, I took the time to study Phil. I took the time to study Dexter, Big Ramy, Pose for Pose, and I've done my damn homework. Well, let's keep it real. Let's break down Pose for Pose. This is your words. Phil's front double bicep, crap. Last spread, crap. Side chest, you never done, done a side chest. Yes, I did say all those. We saw the Jay Cutler interview. I was just speaking facts. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go out here tomorrow night and we're all gonna step on the stage and we're gonna all gonna see what we have. And as I said, I've done my homework for 2018. Last year, Star Mike Prabhu put a broken jaw. I had to eat to a strong to make the top five. I've had plenty of time this year to get my shit together to come back here and get back on stage and present myself as Mr. Olympia. Thank you, Sean. All right, Phil, apparently you are garbage. Uh, front double by is crap. Really? I have nothing to say to him. Talk is cheap. He'll find out tomorrow, and he'll have that same looking Eeyore looking face backstage. <laughs> My question isn't really you, Phil, it's to you, William Bonac. Doesn't he have to get you get through you first to even have a chance of getting the Phil Heath? I think all of these guys got to get through me to get to Phil. Short and sweet, William. I love you. And a few words. And he's got to get through Big Rami. Where's Big Rami? Big Rami, I got to say, bro, I saw you at the check-ins yesterday, and I got to say, you look uh, big. Thank you for coming and uh, support this still this game and um, I heard Mr. Dix he said Mr. Fell is Mr. Rombia seven years for reason and that's right I think the reason I'm not coming hundred percent yet but tomorrow we will see something different something different that's it Rom is winning tomorrow. Big Rami says he's bringing something different, Phil. What do you think? <laughs> Sounds like what he said last year. You guys, were you guys here last year? Last year he said, I'm going to show you guys something you have never seen before. I promise. 
So, once again, talk is cheap. Okay? I know you guys want to hear me talk a lot of trash and this and that, but talk is cheap. Okay? So he can say whatever he wants. It doesn't matter to me. It may matter to you. But I guarantee you, it's not going to come to fruition. <laughs> I work hard, too. I'm, I've improved, too. And... Um, that's it. I don't have to talk bad about anybody to make myself feel good. I don't have to stand up and say, I'm seven times. I've got sand outs at my house that let me know that. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, it's all about me chasing history. No disrespect to anyone on the stage, but that's what is here. That's why I'm here. I'm not here for anyone else on this stage, but they are here for me. And that's the difference with the mindset. That's the difference. That's why you guys bought the tickets. You bought the tickets to see history be made, whether it happens or not. But it's gonna happen. Phil, you're good enough, you're smart enough, and gosh darn it, you're not garbage. <laughs>